So, did you get 15 over 17? I hope you did. How about these other ones? Well, they end up being very similar to the trigonometric ratios of t, as you might expect for two angles that are sharing the same triangle. But this is only part of what our assignment is going to be. This is the important part, the algebra. So, we are given some triangles. We know that it's a right triangle. We know one of the angles, one of the sides, but we need to find the other side. Previously, this would have been impossible, but now that we have trigonometric ratios, we can do it. And here's how. The first thing we need to do is decide which of the trigonometric ratios to use. Sine is opposite and, hypot and hypotenuse. Cosine is adjacent and hypotenuse, while tangent is opposite and adjacent. So to figure out which one to use, we just need to look at the angle in question, here's a 54, and where our variable and our constant are. In this case, the variable is on the opposite side, while the constant is the hypotenuse. Therefore, we can use sine, and we can say that sine of 54 degrees is equal to w over 17. Well, now what? Fortunately, as I mentioned up here, these ratios are constant, no matter what the side lengths are. So, sine of 54, according to my calculator, is 0 .0, 0 0.8090. I'll set that equal to 17 here, then solve it normally, and we end up with 13.75 equals w. So how about these other ones? What trigonometric ratios should we use for B and C? Did you figure them out? So this one will be cosine, whereas this will be tangent. Note that we've got 10 over W quite annoying, but we can manage it. So, let's solve C first. What will you get for W? I like to use four decimals for these things. Hope you got something close to that. But now how about B? It's a bit trickier when the variable is in the denominator. So I'm going to show my work here, even though I usually wouldn't. So, get about 18.8. And that's what we're going to do for homework tonight.